benchmark lap time. Yeah, now all Johnny has to do is make it faster. What he's got to do is take one of the tidiest looking Mark II Golfs in the country and turn it into one of the tidiest to drive without making it look like a bomb's gone off in Halfords. Right, as soon as Tip had finished nailing it around the track, I took it straight here to VW Tuning Guru's TSR Performance. It's been here about a month now, and we've done a massive amount of work on the old girl. Today's the day I get to drive it away. We've nearly finished it. Come and have a look. The boys here treat cars like newborn babies. They were under strict instructions to keep the car looking as standard as possible and make it as good as possible. I occasionally lent a hand, although it was probably more of a hindrance. I'm sure harmful to aquatic organisms may cause long-term adverse effects in the aquatic environment. Don't drink it, Johnny. So, what changes did we make? Well, we swapped the quarter of a century old suspension for fresh dampers that were fully adjustable. Gives it a good ride, firms it up a bit, but it's, it's sort of best of both worlds, good on the track and on the road. I know a thing or two about cars that I think we've missed off the vital component on the brakes. Tip's going to notice that on the track. You know that, don't you? In fact, the 25-year-old brakes have been swapped for the bigger units from a VW Corrado. Right, so the brakes are now TIF-proof. We also added a tasteful new exhaust to help the car breathe. There's only one thing we've got to do now, isn't there? One small job. It's under the bonnet. Or, actually, it's not under the bonnet. The engine has been rebuilt with the tender care of the gentle lover. We've gone through it all. It's got new Austin Forge pistons, 272 Newman cams. We've got H-section rods in there, new bearings. The block's been bored and skimmed. Piper vernier pulley. Four bars of stainless steel manifold on there. Bottom line is we've now got more power. Power should have gone from about 130 to 185 horsepower now. Really? Yeah, so about 50 horsepower increase. That's significant. It is. It makes for a completely different car. Um, All that remained was a few finishing touches. Before we start it up, I think I'll probably just reset the, uh, the, the injection. Johnny. Johnny. Yeah. We'll start right there. Well, that's important clip. Wiring just, I fear it. Yeah. Like, like cavemen and uh, <laughs> fireworks. You're not a proper mechanic until you've finished the job and you've still got a few bits lying around. Looks like a whelk. Yeah. Awesome, on the button. On the button. It's one of those cars I'd really like to just keep and not let tip drive. Unfortunately, that wasn't meant to be. We had to find out if we'd made the car quicker, so dispatched the Golf back to our handling circuit and hoped that Tiff would drive it with the care and the respect that it really deserved. Well, I'm delighted to see that Johnny has retained the look and originality of this car. Let's hope they haven't spoiled that lovely, fine, balanced hand that I so loved. <laughs> Nine litres. At low RPM, there's not much there, but whoop, hey, come five and a half thousand RPM, and things really begin to take off. And even these first quarters, I can feel this stiffer suspension has just taken so much of the rollout. But it, I think we're going to be pressed for the lap time this produces. Start the clock! First quarter, still lifting third, and we go right mild under the It's full throttle, it just holds its line, holds its line. The high speed X, we don't break anymore, we're just going to let right back hard on the power, drift to the edge, into the tight turn, the new second here now, the power is right up at the top end from 6 to 8,000 then, stay in second, break lengths and things, pick up the throttle, head for the line, what is that, a time of 45.9 seconds, over 3 seconds quicker, in a really short lap. Good job. Amazingly, Johnny's done the impossible. He's made the best better. This has to be one of the best Mark II Golf GTIs in the world. Oh, I want that car. A mint Mark II 16-valve GTI Golf in oak green, full service history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? Perfect. Which is why we're going to give it away as this week's competition prize. We wanted to keep it for ourselves, didn't we? Oh, hell yeah, but they wouldn't let us. So, got your pen and paper ready? Good. Here are the details. 
It really must be one of the finest examples of one of the best cars ever made. We're not just giving away the car either, but up to a thousand pounds towards your insurance and a grand's worth of fuel. 